Yo, hello everyone, this is Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Ragecraft 2, the good, the bad, and the Ragecraft. Where am I, you ask? I'm in a hole in the ground. Specifically, a hole in the ground that I dug. <laughs> uh, this is the graveyard um, that you might remember from a couple episodes ago. So, because we were out of arrows from the last episode, and we were kind of just bad off in general, I decided to set up a drop trap. And so how this basically works, if I can look at it in a way that doesn't get me killed, there's just a big drop. There's a bunch of skeletons down there at the bottom. Uh, so I, basically all I have to do is stand here, uh, skeletons will spawn, drop to the bottom, and then they're one hit. So now I have a stack of arrows. I also have a bunch of arrows in me, <laughs> because as I was setting up for this episode, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I, you know, just hit my E, you know, opened up my inventory so I could, you know, look at, you know, pull up some other programs, and I start hitting, like, thunk, thunk. I'm like, what in the world is that sound? And I look back, and there's a skeleton that walked just into my spawner room and just started attacking me. It's like, what the heck? So I guess I forgot to barricade the front door, because the skeleton was just sitting there, like, smacking me a bunch of times with arrows. I'm like, oh my god. So that was that was pretty freaky. It's a good thing I caught that. Um, so what we're going to do here is go fast. We're going to go super fast. The most fast. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that slow and steady junk that we were trying last time. We're just going to go super fast over here. How about the boat? And climb up here as fast as we possibly can. And so we can just recover this chunk. Because last time the whole strategy of like, oh, we'll go slow and steady, you know, blah, 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 so fun. You know, no, that was an awful idea. All right, let's break these spawners very, very, very quickly. Uh, where's that guest? Where's that guest? Ow! Hey! Also, could open the this, but you can probably see that. Ow! Hey. Oh, we're doing this again. It has begun. Ah, it didn't switch my sword. Okay. Uh, still not off to the best start in the world, but it is recoverable. Hey, where are you shooting me from? You are my biggest threat right now. There you are. Did you see that? Oh, there's two of them. Crap. Oh, one of you is down below. I think. Ugh. I feel at such a disadvantage. You can see me, but I cannot see you. Um... Nah, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's quickly just run and jump and do a maneuver. Jack, you're so reckless! What are you doing? Go get the thing! Uh, uh. My heart is pounding so hard right now. I see you, creeper. Splash. Ouch. We did it. We destroyed the ghast spawner. That shouldn't be as... I, I feel like I'm making this more of an accomplishment than it actually is, but I feel accomplished. I feel like that was the greatest threat to our safety, and it still kind of is. But the fact that we destroyed it and can no longer spawn is wonderful. Go away. Oh, come on, guys. Stop. Stop, please. I'm busy. Now we just need to figure out a way to get rid of the ghast. Thankfully, I uh, harvested a stack of arrows. I can sit here all day. Not really. Nice. 
We did it! We did it! This area sucks. But not anymore. We are victorious. And also, only we can prevent forest fires. Stop being on fire. <laughs> I don't really need to put out the fires, but they kind of irritate me. So, Alright, let's hop up here. Let's see what all our effort got us. Oh, pfft. go away. Nah. Nah. I just want to look at the thing. Is that really too much to ask for? You know what? Screw it. Do that. Awkward potion. Okay, so I guess they're not going to give us brewing capabilities just yet. They're just going to make it so that we can do things. Um, I think it's safe enough for us to just jump over there and see what's up. Yes, there's a creeper right behind me. But he can't get me when I'm in the air. Ha 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 ha. Unless he decided to get a bow. And that would be horrifying. Skeleton creepers. They shoot explosive arrows. And they also explode. It's double the trouble. Sweet, excellent, wonderful. Regrettably, there's no like fancy chest. Which actually kind of makes me sad. I feel like I should be rewarded for getting rid of the ghasts. Although maybe not having ghasts spawn is its own reward. Did you ever think of that? No. Obviously not. Alright. Now we just gotta figure out what's the best way to... Oh, that's a chicken. I don't need to... I was like, ah, I gotta shoot the thing that's bobbing up and down in the water. It's a chicken. No, don't forget. Um... I would like to make that island safe, too. I know, you're like, Jack, drop, drop. Don't get over the ambitions. I can't. I can't help it. I'm a feeling good because of our victory. Ouch. And B having coal is nice. I will need coal in the future so if I can secure it. Stop blowing up my coal. You dang guys. Great. Actually, it's a good thing that we secured it, because we were basically out of torches already. Alright. Um, let's just however us up a little bit. I don't want to waste too much time, because, you know, we're only partway through the episode. Uh, we still got things to do. So... Actually, you know what? Let's take a quick break. I will harvest up some of this coal. Uh, go and re-deliver the safety and the supplies, and then we will meet at the bog, and then continue our adventure. Because I think that's really the only... There's like two areas that we haven't gone yet. There's the bog over there, and then there was like a room in the wool area, which I still kind of want to check out. And actually we might, you know, depending on... Uh, depending on how, you know, some of these episodes go. You know, maybe we will stop by and, and do that, uh, because, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, so I will see you in just a moment. Yo, we're back. I just dropped off a bunch of stuff, kind of reorganized. Not much has really changed. I'm going to put potatoes back on my bar. I kind of have, like, potatoes as my battle food and my bread as my not battle food. I don't know if that's actually like a good idea or not. It seemed like a good idea. I don't know. So here's the bog, which actually there isn't much of it. So we're going to go that way. Uh, we kind of torched up sporadically last time. Last time, I mean, like, randomly, random episodes ago. Ha <laughs> ha Get dropped on. We also never broke these spawns, which I think is probably because we didn't have a good um, pick back then. But we're going to break them now. So things don't continue to spawn like they just did. Oh, you're done there. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do anything. So I'm not sure 
in terms of level design, what difficulty this little area is going to be. Because I could see it being one of two things. I could say either like, A, because it's near the beginning, the map creator wanted me to go here relatively early, and so we're a bit over-prepared. Or if B, he wanted to use the soul sand as a natural deterrent for people, and so because of it, this area is technically harder than the areas beyond it. Um, that being said, I think just because of the fact that we were able to clear out, you know, the ghast area, the, you know, water island ghast land, fun times complex. Um, just by pure virtue of the fact that we were able to clear that out, I think we should be able to tackle this area um, with relative ease. Knock on wood. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna say that in egg. Here's supercharged creeper time. Yay! Super fast supercharged creeper time. Enjoy! I'm like, oh no. That would be the worst. Okay, good. It looks like we're going in a direction. And that direction appears to be one that we want to go in. That dude's stuck, so I don't actually have to care about him. Yeah, you made an awful choice running into those cobwebs. I don't know how mob pathing works, but apparently they're not smart enough to detect that there's cobwebs. I don't know if we checked out that chest last time. Whoops. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna throw like a torch or two over here. Eat some battle potatoes. <laughs> Trademarked. Copyright Jack of Knaves 2014. Whoops. You know what? <laughs> I'm obviously not that good at the bow. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't sustain that much damage. How's our armor looking? I actually should have checked it earlier. The only thing that we're in trouble with is our helmet. Alright, I should time my attacks differently. Whoa, no, I don't want to be on holy ground. Especially right next to a creeper spawner. Oh, that looks like a thing. That appears to be some manner of place. Yeah, I think we're, this area was designed such that we were supposed to go there earlier. Which is good. Oh. I heard skeletons walking. I, for some reason, naturally assumed creepers. Which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, isn't a bad thing to instantly assume. I mean, it just means that I'll be more cautious right away. No, I, and now, yes, I do know that I'm being chased. Oh, this looks like a place. Let's investigate the tower. There's actually a lot to this. What are we on? Episode... Oh, we're on episode 10! Congratulations! I should do something. I should do something to mark this occasion. That occasion being episode 10. Uh, I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, just for the white wool to be just as I mean, I'm I, I'm impressed and excited. Um, Helicio, I don't know if you're gonna watch my series or not, but if you do decide to, um, I just like to give a quick shout out. I this map is fantastic. And for anyone watching this series, if you are a fan of Complete the Monument Maps, check it out, because this, this guy obviously knows what he's doing. I'm having a blast playing it. I am getting super excited every time I get set up to record. So, uh, if you're looking for a new map to play, uh, Ragecraft 2 is <laughs> that map. Ouch. How dare you interrupt my moment. I was having a heart to heart with my viewers. And you just had to jump in and decide that you were more important than them. We're actually not really making any progress. Let's Oh thank you. Maybe that wasn't a creeper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh oh. That was quite reckless of me. 
<laughs> I'm I'm dumbfounded. I'm I, I don't know. Ugh. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what happened. I got distracted. My attention wavered. And now I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's let's go back. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Unfortunately, I don't really have much in the means of getting places. Ah, I'm two emeralds away. Um, I should also grab some blocks. This is like my emergency kit. Because the assumption is that I'll be able to recover my items. I think I made it relatively safe if I come over this way. I might have to face like one or two mobs, but you know, that's not that's not horrible. I want to at least investigate that tower. It looks like there's a big spider menacing tower mabob, and that's a thing. Uh-oh, this is the only thing that I feared. In between this episode and the next episode, I'm definitely going to go farm some more arrows. I think now that we have we, the royal we, obviously in this case, have a uh, skeleton spawner, I think it's not going to be too bad. Are you going to shoot at me? There we go. <laughs> I was just standing there and he just was giving me the evil eye. This is like trying to kill me with, you know, a mean look. If looks could kill, that guy would have done a lot of damage to me. Because that was really all he was doing. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> Stop being on fire. This isn't too bad. Either shoot at me or don't. Pick one or the other. Okay, you're dead. We recovered our stuff, and that's good. We just need to get we're relatively safe now. Let's, you know, let's be the smart guys and backtrack. Th that was not the most efficient way to do that, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Does it look like I care? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, take that off, put that on. I dyed it white. I don't know why. I just wanted to give it my own personal flair. That, that, ba ba ba. I'm trying to blaze through this as quick as I can. Just throw that on there. Um, I think we're good. Oh, let's replace that with that. I'm going to need to repair that at some point. I mean, it's only a power one, but it's helped me out so far. It's made enemies two hits versus three. So, or two arrow shots versus three. Do you have a pickaxe? <gasps> Is that my pickaxe? You! You jerk! That's mine! Give it back! Thief! Rip scallion! Give it back! <gasps> He did drop it, yay! <laughs> Thief. There was no mercy shown for that guy. Nor should there have been. Stealing my thing? Think again, Buster. I like this whole idea of like creepers. Can I do a thing? Mm, I like how I just casually like, yeah, I'll just, you know, deal with this. Um, unfortunately broke the snot out of this. I mean, come on, show some restraint. I get you're the, like, you're the big bad creeper and, ah, da, da, ah, gee, gee, ah. Stop dropping and roll. Yeah, that was a joke. What? You didn't like it? Why not? I thought it was pretty clever at the time. That time being a few seconds ago. Alright. I knew it. Stop, please. Stop, 
please. Don't shoot me off again. And break. Admittedly, there wasn't really a lot up here. Um, there's like no, no, no. That's that's cool. Uh, there's like another chest right here. I mean, it's nice for the bonusness. Like, there's a there's a you know another iron sword. There's some gold pants, which I'll actually switch out of. Put the helmet back on. In case you're worried, like Jack, why are you wearing gold? Well, actually, gold provides. I think technically the highest protection. Let's block this off. Just so you know, spiders can are one high but two wide, so nothing can get through this. Except for baby zombies, I think. Alright, well anyway, but as I randomly point out things that probably most of you already know. Um, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like, it helps me out a ton. And as always, stay tuned for more.